Hey guys, I have a fresh copy of Windows 10 here, and I'm gonna show you how to install Windscribe. So, first, go to www.windscribe.com, then click Download Windscribe, scroll down and click Windows. And then when it shows, do you want to save or run, just hit Run, because it's nice and easy. And then wait for it to start. Then click Yes, we want to run it. And just go Next and run Windscribe. Always allow it with firewall access. And now comes the next part. Do you have an account? No, we don't. So let's create an account. Follow the link and let's get started. You can just click here on generate random username and then for a password I do recommend you stick to your own password. I would recommend that you add your email address right away because that will let you use up to 10 gigabytes of bandwidth as opposed to the standard 2. Then click create account and now we have to go check our email to confirm the account and get the 10 gigabyte bandwidth. So go to your email, click the Windscribe email and then do confirm. And there we go, email confirmed. Now let's look at Windscribe. And I have 10 gigabytes right away showing here. Uh, for some people it might take a while. I've read that it can take up to 20 minutes before it updates from 2 gigabytes to 10 gigabytes. And there you go. Windscribe is now installed. And remember guys, Windscribe is completely free to use. So let me go over a few features real quick. You have best location, which will be the fastest server available for you. So if you're doing something like gaming, it's recommended to connect to that. If you're trying to access websites that might be blocked by your ISP or country, it's recommended to go and connect to the Norwegian server over here. So you just click Norway and that's it. And the moment that this says on, there we go, Windscribe is on and functioning. Now there is one feature I want to mention which is the firewall. I recommend that you guys leave that switched on because it doesn't actually work as a firewall. It doesn't block anything or anything like that. The only thing it does is it makes sure that your computer can't make any connections until the VPN is fully switched on or fully switched off. So just leave this on. It's a very nice feature to have. Now if you want to see whether the VPN was working successfully, you can always go to www.whatismyip.com. And it will tell you your IP address and it will also tell you where you're connected from. So here it says I'm connecting from Oslo in Norway. So yeah, the VPN's working fine. When you're done and you want to switch off Windscribe, just click the power button again and wait until it says off. Windscribe has another few features that you're probably not going to end up using, so I'm going to leave it here. So thank you guys very much for watching. Like the video if it worked for you. If it didn't work out for you, leave a comment below and I will get back to you and make sure that things will be working. Alright, that's it guys. See ya.